as you know, I want to be a lot more proactive this year and answer questions as they come and show you with in a form of video to answer them. So I've got a question over here. Hi, Much Trader team. Please can you explain with the position calculator when I put in 25,000 Rand with a risk per trade at 1% or 250 Rand, although one position costs 1,421 Rand and 24 cents if I'm doing something wrong. So the answer is no, you're not doing anything wrong. You need to understand the difference between margin and risk in the trade. Now, when we think margin, think deposit or collateral, that when you put in money, you're basically going to be exposed to a lot more. So we're going to take this trade, for example, we didn't take it today because it's a medium probability trade, but let's take the levels and say that we got into this trade. What would happen? The portfolio value is at 25,000. The risk percentage per CFD is 1%. The max risk per trade is 250 Rand, which is the 1% of the 25,000 Rand. Is it a Forex trade? No. We're buying and going long. The minimum quantity is 1 CFD. The initial margin per CFD is 2%. The entry is 71,613. The stop loss price is 71,449. And the take profit price is 71,950. To buy one CFD, the initial margin per CFD is 1,432 Rand and 26 cents. Okay. How we get that is that we are taking the initial margin per CFD and we are timesing it by the entry price. So we're only paying 2% of what the actual value of the JSC top 40. So the initial margin is 1,432 Rand. Does that mean we are risking 1,432 Rand in our trade? No, completely no. What you are risking all depends on where your entry is and where your stop loss is. Now remember, with the JSC top 40 index, every point that goes against you and you're trading one CFD, you lose one Rand. Every point that goes for you and you're trading one CFD, you gain one Rand. Hence, the exchange rate is one to one, czar to czar. Okay. So if you buy two CFDs and the market goes against you one point, you lose two Rand. And if it goes for you, you gain two Rand. So you can see where I'm going with this. So what we got to know is what is the difference between the entry price and the stop loss price? And what we know is that the risk in trade is 164 points. So between the entry and the stop loss is 164 points. OK, so if you're trading one CFD, you're only risking 164 Rand. If it hits your stop loss, you get the full 1,432 Rand back into your account. If you're trading two CFDs, times that by two, you're getting that back into your account. You're only losing and risking between the entry and the stop loss and the number of CFDs that you're holding. So, but hold on, my max risk per trade is 250 Rand. So why am I only risking 164 Rand when I can risk more? Well, remember CFDs are um, you can only trade them minimum of one, two, three CFDs. There's no fractional CFDs. So if I put number two over here, so two CFDs that we trade, now look at the risk. The risk in trade is now 328 Rand, which is more than your 1% risk. So instead, I've created this calculator so that you round down you round down the number of CFDs. So instead of that, because there's only one CFD and two CFDs, it's going to round down to one CFD. So you're going to be risking less than 1%, which is also good. So this video was basically about the difference between the margin that you put in and you'll get out versus the risk in the trade when you buy or sell CFDs and what you'll risk within that trade. Is there a possibility where uh, I can risk my entire margin when it comes to trading the JSC top 40 index if I'm getting the margin back? And the answer is yes. If the entry price and the stop loss price, the points risked in between is the same amount as how much your initial margin is, you can risk the full margin.
If we take the entry price, which is 71,613, and we subtract that by the initial margin per CFD, 1,432, this means that the stop loss price would be 70,181, okay? 70,181. Now take a look here. The risk in trade per CFD is 1,432 Rand. So this is where you will risk the full amount of the margin that you put in per CFD. This is where you'll risk 100% of the margin, okay? But you'll obviously need your portfolio way higher for this to happen. So let's go 250,000. Okay, so there, 250,000. Uh, and you can see the max risk is 2,500. The initial margin is 1,432. So you will risk 1,432 with a 250,000 Rand account. So that is the only way that you can lose the entire margin that you put in per CFD. And that is if the entry and the stop loss is at the same amount of points as the initial margin per CFD. So this video basically showed you the difference between the margin and what you're willing to risk, as well as how you can risk your entire margin using the difference between the entry and the stop loss points.